was this supposed to be a history lesson or just a fun kids movie? Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Futon reviewing The Inventor. What's about pretty simple premise? We are discussing Leonardo da Vinci's Da Vinci? Da Vinci's life. Basically his back half of his life when he was with the Pope, with what he was with the French King, but in animation form, stop motion, as well as 2D animation. So I like this film. This is a weird movie for me to review. Because I had some nostalgic factors where I'm like, oh, that is really fun to watch. But then other times I'm like, what is this movie? Like, I understand what they're trying to go for. They're trying to probably teach kids a, you know, cute hour and a half history lesson of something that happened in 1592. I'm guessing Rome, Italy. But for adults, I look at it going, what was the overall message you're trying to teach the kids? So when I talk about the positive of this film, I do think the stop motion animation is really fun. It kind of reminds me of Coraline, but also more in lines of like Frosty's Snowman or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, those like 30-minute Christmas specials you would see on ABC growing up. It had that feel to it, and I really enjoyed it. Like, it felt like fun, different, and it was like, just a sigh of nostalgia because everything you've seen now is like really fast paced, you know, like Puss in Boots and uh, Spider Man, as well as just everything's like so fast paced motion here. It lets you breathe and it lets you understand what you're seeing on screen and just lets the kids enjoy the nice popping colors. I do think the voice acting is really good. And I do think them talking about history and what he was trying to do with the Pope and, you know, the French king, and the whole French king would like maybe not do weapons, but instead like build a town, kind of like Rome. I do that very interesting message to teach kids like, oh, what if we do this for your inventions instead of the opposite way around? Because there is something in the movie which basically like, I'm going to make something, but then my enemies are going to make the same thing, probably make it better, and it's going to be a vice versa thing throughout history. And it's very true. I know they decided to add like bombs into this movie, which is kind of interesting. Like, they had no... Like, why would you add nuclear bombs to this movie? I understand their message. And that's why I have, like, kind of a pet peeve, kind of a major issue with this movie. Is some of the dialogue and imagery was, like, on your nose and trying to be very political. And I don't think this movie should have been political. It should have been about Leonardo da Vinci's inventions and what he wanted to do. And that's where I think the 50-50 things happen. When we're in the stop-motion animation, I truly enjoyed it. When we're in the 2D animation, there are some interesting visuals. But it really took me out of the movie. It kind of reminded me of Oppenheimer. The whole black and white and color. Color is like what really happened. And black and white is kind of an imagination of like, you know, you know, fly on the wall type of things. Here, the 2D animation was literally more of like musical numbers. Da Vinci kind of flying like on his little glider. And then his imagination of like these big monsters and what the world can be. So that really took me out of the movie. I'm like, okay, can we just get more of like the history lesson of what he was trying to do? And then the very end, though, where you try to have the king be the son and then unite everyone. I don't know what I OK, that's a lie. I know what they're trying to do, but it was so forced. Ross is like, eh, eh. for this movie, there was a total of six people, me, two adults. No, sorry, me, three adults, two kids. And I could say they probably had an okay time with it. But I just think overall the clunkiness message of the movie really falters the movie for what it was trying to do to show this inventor of Leonardo da Vinci. And like I said, there were some subtle messagings where I was kind of uncomfortable with. So the inventor will receive a 2.5 out of 5 of futons. It goes at 50%. So see the critics' news scores gave this one. Do you have critics a 74% with... 31 of them. Audience score nothing fewer than 50. Here's quick consensus. A beautifully animated history lesson. The inventor seems somewhat uncertain as to which audience it's trying to reach, but it remains amusing and often engaging. That's actually very interesting because, like I said, it reminded me of the old school esque, and it almost felt like a PBS, BBC style of like TV movie. And it is a British, mostly British production company, so that kind of makes sense. Anyway, 50. 
74. Chase Food Hockey here with the Blue Food Like, comment, subscribe. One of the things, Blue Town Topia, you Blue Tones, they a great day. Now, care watch this stage tomorrow, week, tomorrow, month, right here for now. I love every single one of you. Did you watch this stop motion movie? When I was watching it, though, it was a 45 minute delay because the projector broke. And yeah, I had to move theaters. Theater 4 to Theater 11.